My name is Penny McCoy, and I'm from Bishop, California. The title of my book is From My Heart to Yours, God the Father. My book is about God's prophetic voice for this day and age, and once our heart is free, then we are in a position for healing and wholeness, and once we are whole, then we can become who God has created us to become and do what He created us to do not what other people create us to be, or circumstances, or religion, or bondage, or control, but who He creates us to be. I was third in the world championships in skiing when I was 16, named number one on the Olympic team the year after for the 1968 Olympics. One week before the Olympics, I was taken off of the Olympic team. The year of my world championships, I was called, quote, Pretty Penny. Then the year of the Olympics, I felt like I had become the ugly duckling. When I tried to get into the opening ceremonies of the Olympics and the coach gave me the pass to get in, and when I went in to get in, the pass didn't work. So I had to climb under the bleachers, and it was pretty muddy that day, and I, I was mud-stained and tear-stained, and my whole life turned in upon me at that point. And my decisions, were from that point of view. My decisions were from the identity of brokenness. I've been in great chains, if you will, in my heart and my soul. I'm going, God, if I'm not healed, if I'm not set free, neither will my children be. But really what's contained in the book are, are messages from God's heart. When I'm in worshiping God and praising God and seeking God and in His presence, He really um, impresses things on my heart. The way I wrote this particular book was um, strictly from worship services at church and God would just download His heart to me and so I'd start writing it out. I noticed all these people everywhere in abusive situations or not free in the prisons of their own soul and mind or relationships and I'm like, God, I want to be used to help these people. God has really done a miracle, miracle miracle work in my life to set me free. It is my hope that the reader has an experience with the unconditional love of God and His goodness.